Hello everyone, welcome to the Codebus. In this video, we will learn about the abstract class and why we use it with the help of real life example. Consider, we got a job to create a software for all the banks in India like SBI, HDFC, ICICI, etc. For developing softwares, we will create a separate class and functions for every bank. Since this is a big task, so we will split this task into the teams like developer 1 will develop a class for SBI, developer 2 will develop a class for HDFC and so on. Now, I want all these developer to implement some method in this class like interest rate method. Each bank can have different interest rate like SBI will have 8% interest rate, HDFC will have 9% interest rate and so on. Since there are different developers which are implementing these classes, how will I force them to implement the interest rate method in all the classes? Here, abstract class comes into the picture. An abstract class is a class that has abstract method in it. So let's understand what is an abstract method. The abstract method is a method that has only method declaration but doesn't have the definition. All the classes which will inherit abstract class are forced to override this method into them. Overriding means all the child classes have to write the definition or a specific implementation of this method into them. So let's Let's come to our problem that is banking system. We want to force all the developers to implement some method in all the classes. So we can use abstract class over here. We will create the abstract class bank which has the abstract method rate of interest and all the classes like SBI, HDFC will inherit this bank class. Now bank class which is an abstract class will act as a parent class for SBI, HDFC and other classes. So it is mandatory for these classes to redefine the abstract method in their body otherwise they will get a compile time error. So all the methods which we want to force all the classes to implement will be listed in the abstract class and even if some developer forget to implement this method then he or she will get the compile time error. Now let's see the syntax of abstract class. Abstract class is like a normal class with the abstract keyword at the beginning. Similarly, abstract method is like a normal method with the abstract keyword at the beginning. Now you can see on the screen that we have defined the abstract class bank and abstract method rate of interest. Now all other classes will inherit it. For example, SBI class can inherit the bank class with the help of extends keyword. You can check out my video on inheritance for more information. So if we don't define the interest rate method in SBI class, then Java will throw an compile time error saying that SBI class must implement the abstract method interest rate. To fix this error, we just have to implement the definition of interest rate method in SBI class. Now let's see the some properties of abstract class. First is we cannot create the object of abstract class because the definition of some method might be missing in the abstract class. This class will only act as a parent class to other classes. Second is abstract class can also have abstract as well as non-abstract method. Means along with abstract method which doesn't have the definition, we can also write the method which has the definitions. Third is abstract class can have the final methods. You can check out my video on final keyword for more information. And the last is abstract class can have the constructor as well as static methods. That's it for today's video. If you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.